Hey everyone, Joey O'Connor here with eGolf Cards and welcome to my very first video for our new channel eGolf Cards. So I hope you enjoy it. We're going to do a bunch more. We're going to feature a bunch of golf cards as well as I thought it'd be fun to just show everything that I buy off of eBay or find at a flea market or you know consignment shop or Goodwill or any of those places. And so I thought I would start with talking about and showing what I think is a fake Tiger Woods Grand Slam Ventures card. And I've heard about these before, never seen one until I have it. I bought it off of eBay was not listed as a fake. I'm not trying to get the seller in trouble. I don't think the seller knew it was fake. Um, the seller was like a consignment seller, um, you know, or, or flea market fine seller. Um, I've been checking their account just to make sure they weren't selling anymore. They aren't. Uh, it was like their only golf item auction that they had. And... Honestly, I got this card for uh, $9.99 plus a few dollars shipping. And the seller did say it was in rough shape and it had a bad edge and all that good stuff. So they weren't selling it as like a perfect card by any means. And so I took a chance and bought it, you know, for 10 bucks. You know, that's about twenty dollars or so less right now than what these cards are selling for raw you know in pretty good shape so anyway here's why I think it's fake first of all it's thin it's it's a little bit thinner um, I, I immediately felt that it was thin when I got it okay and I'll tell you let me put this one here and let me get here's the Nick Faldo from the year before and you can see I mean it's even just doing that, it's it's stouter. So if I try to put these two up against each other, sorry, they're hard to hold. I I think the Nick Faldo is a little bit thicker than the Tiger card. Okay, so that was the number one clue. The, the, the real second clue is this left edge. Now, those people that know these cards know they were notorious for sticking together, and that's why these things are hard to find in really good shape. But you can see here on the camera that it, it, it looks like it's kind of rough. It looks like what it would be like, you know, typical sticking when you pull them apart. But there's no rough to it. I can't feel it. And it looks like it's white on the camera. But when you look at it off camera, it's not really white. The back looks okay. The back has that typical stuff too. But here's the thing. The coloring is a little bit off. But look right here in the middle of this card there are these horizontal lines you see that I think you can see that sorry about the glare I'm trying to hey, look at that now obviously I think that is from some sort of laser jet printer or some sort of printer that prints things that way so I just wanted to show y'all this I, you know there are fakes you know, this this is like a little rub spot here. It kind of looks like a thumbprint, but it's not. You know, what I honestly think happened is I think they scanned another Tiger Woods card that had damage like most of them do. They photoshopped or filled in the black edge or something and then printed some. Because, you know, these, these little side marks are just crazy. You don't see that. Now, also, notice the, the glossiness of this card, right, versus the Nick Faldo card, <laughs> you know. And I know there's a difference in some glossiness to them, but look, if I, I, you know, there's just no doubt. So anyway, the point is, just be careful. Um, if you're going to use them as an investment, you know, you're going to buy some of these as an investment, make sure that you buy them already graded. And make sure that you, you know, there are a lot of companies, and, and some of them are great, right? But the top two seem to be PSA and then Beckett. So if you're going to buy these as an investment, buy them already graded. Yeah, you're going to spend some money for them, but that way you can guarantee that you're really not getting a fake like this. Because I bet you 100%. And I and I think I might, 
actually send this one off to see what they say, to see if it's graded as a fake, you know, might be worth, I might send it off, um, I don't know, I, I, I might do it and wait, I, I think it'd be kind of fun, I might not, I, I haven't decided, but anyway, um, get them graded if you're going to use it as an investment, if not, you know, take a chance and get some of them raw and, and then get them graded if you want to, but I just thought that'd be a little fun video as my first ever video, so thank you for tuning in, and, uh, you know, do the typical, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell next to it if you want to see more of my videos coming up or get notified for the videos coming up. Um, and also look in the description, we'll, um, I'll have the links to our website and to our eBay and to our Facebook page, so um, keep following along. And um, I'm looking forward to, uh, to getting this thing going pretty well, so thanks again, and... Um, check out eGolf Cards and eGolfCards.com and it's a work in progress but we'll get there for you alright take care thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time thanks